The Mendian Honey Eye Falls Lima Sentinel welcomes you to this edition of the Mayor's and Supervisor's Weekly Update, brought to you by... Each week, our community makes history. Each week, you make history. And each week, there's only one source to turn to for the first take on history. You know what that is? Subscribe to the Sentinel right now to discover the history being made in your own backyard. The Mendian Honey Eye Falls Lima Sentinel. More than just your news, it's your history. Hey, welcome everyone to this week's edition of the Mayor's and Supervisors Update. I'm Chris Carosa, publisher of the Mendian Honey Eye Falls Sentinel, and each week we bring you the goings-on in the towns and villages that we cover. This week we'll be starting with Mike Falk in the town of Lima. Mike, what's going on in Lima? Uh, hi, Chris. Happy St. Patrick's to everybody. I uh, there's going to be a Saving Energy Symposium at the Lima Town Hall on March 30th from uh, 10 to noon. Uh, lots of energy-saving ideas for homeowners, uh, mostly, who are interested in that sort of thing. Uh, also on March 30th, from noon until whenever, the annual Easter egg hunt is at Mark Tubbs Park. Uh, this is sponsored by American Legion Post 282 and the Lima Rotary. There used to be two Easter egg hunts. Now there is one combined Jigundus Easter egg hunt, noon at Mark Tufts Park. Uh, our annual Dingus Day celebration will be at Fanatics on Monday, April 1st. Uh, you would uh, get a hold of Fanatics to get tickets, and uh, it does include a walking parade around the sidewalks in Lima, uh, where red uh, squirt guns and pussy willows are provided. Uh, the eclipse events coming up for the uh, solar eclipse uh, on the 7th at Mark Tubbs Park, there is going to be a, a black light disco from 6 to 11 p.m. Uh, there are black light uh, capable t-shirts being sold that glow in the dark. Pretty cool. Uh, and then on the 8th day of the actual eclipse, uh, the event at Mark Tubbs Park is from noon to 6. Uh, the Rotary is managing this. Uh, they do have a quantity of free solar eclipse glasses, but I do not know that the, they, the quantity will last. Uh, there, are, uh, there are going to be food trucks, uh, music, all kinds of things. Uh, you can also go uh, for other events in Livingston County and around Lima. Uh, visit liveco.com forward slash livecosoul forward slash events uh, for all of the eclipse related stuff around the county. Uh, and really, that's all I've got, Chris. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. John Moffitt sent the following for me to read. And speaking of the eclipse, just a couple of reminders regarding the eclipse on April 8th. The town of Menden will not be sponsoring any events on April 8th. The Monroe County Sheriff's Department cautions all residents to limit unnecessary travel. Monroe County is expecting a large increase in travelers that day, so expect gridlock. Please consider limiting running errands and fuel your car in advance. Do not schedule any appointments you can postpone. Watch for pedestrians. Schools are closed. Expect many people, depending on the weather, to be on foot. Be prepared for cell phones to be overloaded. You must wear approved eclipse glasses during the event. Even during the few minutes of totality, call 911 in the event of emergency. That's from T John Moffitt, Town of Menden Supervisor. And with that, we'll go right to Will Wagner, who's pinch hitting for Rick Mill, Village of Honey Otter Falls. Will, what's going on there? Thanks, Chris. To double down on the eclipse, uh, I had an opportunity to jump on a call with Monroe County Sheriff's Office this week. And um, just to talk about the preparation and from, from a... Uh, Emergency services perspective. Very impressed with the steps that they're taking um, with the uh, focus on the what could happen, right? So to your point, we, uh, same with Menden, Honeyway Falls does not have any sponsored events, um, but we do expect an increase in traffic, right? So be smart. Um, and I would also just say from, from talking to some folks, the potential of the cell service being impacted. So be aware of that as well. Um, March 26, we will have our community business meeting. It's a Tuesday. That will be from 8.30 to 10 o'clock. That's for all the local village businesses um, who want to attend. Uh, at that meeting, we're also going to have representatives from uh, Monroe County there to talk about new funding or potential funding options, creative funding options, get a chance to do some Q&A with those folks. So we're excited for that. So once again, Tuesday, March 26th uh, from 8.30 to 10. We are also uh, in the village, we are neck deep, you could say, in the budget process. So we should have a proposed budget 
um, out to the residents of the village by uh, Monday the 18th. Uh, they should be able to see that um, on both the village website as well as the village Facebook page. Um, with that being said, there'll be a vote um, on that budget, that finalized budget on April 1st at our annual meeting. Do you want to make the residents aware that we've, we've um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a tough year when you start to look at things from a fiscal perspective. The cost of things has gone up. Uh, we've also seen some challenges from a fire services perspective. Uh, at the end of last year, we added some per diem, um, per, per diem firefighters to support us during some core hours of the day, month, or the week, I should say, Monday through Friday, 6.30 to 4.00. Um, those those firefighters, they come with you know great experience, great background. They're there to help in those gaps that we've seen uh, from a volunteer perspective, just with bandwidth and availability. And they've done a great job and uh, did not expect that in the 2024 budget. Uh, but we are preparing for that in the 2025 budget. You know, we just recognize that um, while we have incredible volunteers, it, this is a, a challenge that municipalities across the, the country are going through. There's just been a, a a lack in volunteerism. So if folks want to volunteer, please reach out to our fire department, um, but also just availability during those hours. And as we start to, to look at balancing the security of uh, and security and actually safety of the residents with that, that cost, we recognize that we're going to need to, to make some changes. And so they will see, residents will see an impact to that proposed budget, uh, an impact of about $100,000 um, in the fire services space, which, which directly connects to payroll in this case. So um, as we are moving forward with the proposed budget, we are we are anticipating a potential of a 22% tax rate increase. Um, that is something that we are going to continue to work to mitigate, but we do need to make sure that folks are aware of where that's coming from and the fact that we, we have, have looked at this many different ways with, with Chief Truer and, and his team, and we just feel like this is the right option um, to walk that, that fiscal line, but then also be able to provide the right level of service and security for our residents of the village. That's it, Chris. All right. Thanks, Will. Uh, who's that man behind those foster grants? Mike, anything more from you? No. All right. Well, thank you guys for being here this week. Thank you all for watching. Remember, this airs every Sunday at one o'clock. Just join our Facebook page, like our Facebook page, or subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll be notified from those platforms when the show begins airing at one o'clock every Sunday. Otherwise, you can read about it in the paper. That's right. There's a transcript of this every Thursday in the paper. It's next week's paper, not before it's actually recorded, but you can read about it there. So that's all we have for this week. Thanks again. See you all next week. Bye Thanks, bye. Chris. Thanks. Imagine yourself communicating with a difference. Pandimensional Solutions helps you do this. Whether live spectator events, taped broadcasts, or real-time audience-engaging programs, you can benefit immediately from the tools Pandimensional Solutions will share with you. Do you want to make a difference? Contact us at pandimensional.com.